We had an interest recently in immune defects that are affecting patients with leukemia. Well, these immune defects actually are, are a problem in cancer because they prevent in patients to actually fight infections and probably fight the cancer. So what we've noticed talking with clinicians at the Alfred were working with patients with a particular form of leukemia called chronic lymphocytic leukemia is that a good two-thirds of these patients will be readmitted at the Alfred uh, in, in the ward, not because of a recurrence of their cancer, but usually because of the complications with an infection. And often these complications can be fatal to the patient. So basically a good two-thirds, probably more of the patients will die of a complications with uh, an infection. So what, is, what this thing is telling us, this observation is telling us, is that these patients are incredibly and severely immunocompromised due to the cancer. And then the thought I had as an immunologist, and I thought, well, if we could restore some minimal immune defenses in this patient, we could probably give them a chance of survival and give them a better chance to fight both infections and probably the cancer. So, well, the work that we have discovered um, has been done primarily by a very talented PhD student in my lab, Damien Easton Solep. And what Damien has discovered is a very early immune defects that is affecting uh, patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia at an early stage of their disease. So the disease has two phases, one phase that is called indolent phase. Uh, so the patients have uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, but it's an indolent form and they're usually not treated for, for the leukemia. But eventually these patients, and it depends, could be a few years to several years, can progress and, and switch to a progressive form of chronic lymphocytic leukemia and that requires, requires treatment. And so what we found and, and what Damien found is that there's a very interesting and very important immune defects that occurs very early on in patients, even when they've reasonably uh, healthy in terms of their symptoms, but they are suffering from an indolent form of uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So what Damien saw is that these patients, and also he saw the same thing in the mass model of chronic lymphocytic leukemia, the exact same defect, is that uh, there is uh, a defect in a very specialized subsets of immune cells called plasmacytoid dendritic cells. And these cells are very important because their function underpins the functions of very important other immune cells. And these immune cells are critical to fight infections, but also critical to fight cancers. What we first did uh, using our experimental model of chronic lymphocytic leukemia is to understand why we're having a defect in that particularly important uh, immune cells. And then Damien discovered that there were a couple of factors that are producing high quantity in patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And these factors are detrimental for the function and the survival of these very important immune cells. And so what is done experimentally in the mice is block these factors. And he showed that indeed by doing so, he was restoring those immune cells. He was restoring some decent immune function in the animals. And as a result, we saw decreased tumor burden in the animals. So what we saw in the animals actually sign that the immune system was working better and was uh, turning back to something more normal. I mean, there's a strong belief out there that the cancer, once it's reaching a certain mass, a certain quantity of tumor cells, has a lot of detrimental effects on the immune system. I mean, there are lots of experiments, lots of data out there showing that indeed the cancer is not good for the immune system. And there's a lot of issues with the immune system. And to be frankly honest, I mean, we always forget that the best feature ever made to fight cancer is actually the immune system. And the reality is that patients who do develop a cancer is because at one stage or another, the immune system failed to fight it. And therefore, it is very important to think differently about cancer 
Targeting the tumour is very important, of course, but I think at the same time, if we could think about restoring some normal immune defences in cancer patients, would probably give them an extra chance to fight the cancer. So our research has been published in uh, uh, Leukemia, which is uh, a scientific journal from the Nature Publishing Group. And I believe it's one of the top four uh, cancer uh, journal. Uh, it's very well read and uh, it's, it's quite a prestigious journal for this kind of work. So we're very pleased that our work you know, really captured the imagination and the attention of the editors.